In 1983, in a suburban elementary school in Czechoslovakia, a female teacher, Mary, was welcomed into the school. At the beginning of the school year, she introduced herself on stage. Then she began to call the roll and ask the students to name their parents' occupations. Mary's aim is to get the parents of the students to serve her. She gave free haircuts at the students' homes and asked the parents to help her fix her lights. She even asked them to deliver pasta and schnitzel to their home for themselves. If Mary was satisfied, she'd reveal some of the key points of the exams to the parents. Parents have to comply for the sake of their children's grades. Mary wanted Lily's father to deliver a cake to Moscow, but Lily's father was just an accountant at the airport. It wasn't a crew member, and at the time, it was illegal to smuggle food into the Soviet Union. For the sake of his job, Lily's father refused, but he offered Mary a ride to the cottage in the countryside. Mary found someone else to help deliver the cake, and she started giving Lily a hard time. She told her in front of the class that she was too stupid to study. Gymnastics is Lily's strength, and her poor grades are just a result of her inability to balance her time between sports and studying. The students followed Mary's advice and said Liddy was a fool. In the cafeteria, she was shamed for having a low IQ and she should be last in line. At the same time, another student in the class, Jack, is kept in school by Mary because of an argument with his classmates. Normally, Jack learns wrestling from his father every day, but since the beginning of the new semester, his father noticed that his son was gradually missing practice. He beat him up and realized that it wasn't Jack's fault. It was all Mary's fault. She asked Jack to clean her house. Jack's dad pretends to help Mary fix the washing machine and threatens her in the bathroom to stop forcing students to help clean their rooms. Mary pretends she doesn't know anything and says he's threatening her, but Jack's mom was worried that it would affect Jack's education. They don't have degrees and they do hard work every day. She doesn't want her son to be like that in the future. On the other hand, under great pressure, Lily committed suicide by turning on the gas at home. Luckily, her mom took her to the hospital in time and saved her. In desperation, Lily's parents decided to transfer their daughter to another school. With the principal's help, they contacted the parents of their classmates to hold a democratic vote and decide whether to remove Mary's position. Since Mary had connections in Moscow and was the school's party chairman, the principal had no right to remove him. There is a student named Luke in the class. Mary takes care of him very much because she likes his father. His father was a physicist and his wife fled to another country. He was dismissed from his job and is constantly being monitored. Working as a window cleaner, he pretends not to hear Mary's sexual advances. Because his wife was a god to him, the mere mention of her brings a sparkle to his cloudy eyes. At this democratic vote, only for parents, Lily, Jack and Luke decided to sign the removal papers. No one could understand why Luke's father had to sign the papers. The other parents, who were rich, even praised Mary as a good teacher. At the end of the meeting, the principal used statistics to show that Mary's class had the lowest promotion rate in the school. Parents who had been silent or supportive of her were beginning to be swayed a bit. When Mary learned it, that Luke's father had signed the paper, she came to the door to confront him, but she finally chose to forgive him. At night, Mary came home to a phone call from Luke's dad, but all she heard was a loud gunshot. The other parents started to support remove Mary's position again for the sake of their children's education. After an unknown amount of time had passed, Mary put on a new outfit and she showed up to her new class. After introducing herself, her words were still familiar, she still made the students, who were named to stand up and introduce their parents' occupation loudly. What's more frightening than Mary's villainous behavior is the silence and support of the entire community.